Hey everyone, welcome to The Scott Barnes Show, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over the top 10 celebrities who have the worst looking beards. And before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit that notification button, that way you guys will get the latest and greatest beard content. Now to start off, we're probably gonna be going from the best of the beards to the worst. They're not gonna be in, in particular order, but we're gonna try our hardest to kinda go from the start of the worst. Uh, to the finish of the worst. So the first one that I want to bring up on the list is going to be Jim Carrey. Yeah, Jim Carrey's got probably a big explosion of a beard on his face. Although I give him credit for having a big, thick, full beard, it just seems like he can't tame it. But I think that's kind of Jim Carrey's thing. You can't bring him down. He's a very elevated guy, so I think that's part of his personality. Big and huge. Next up on the list, and sort of similar to Jim Carrey, is David Letterman. Man, after his retirement, he just let his beard go. And let me tell you, he let it go. It seems like celebrities, after their prime, just want to let things go, not really caring about their image, just like Jim Carrey. David Letterman went full throttle and just has this big girth of a beard. But just like Jim, he doesn't care. He just wants a big, he wants to flaunt his personality just like he did on the late night show. And so once again, I think if he just kind of kept it short, kept it trimmed and kept it nice and tight, he'd probably have a great looking beard. Next one on the list, Leonardo DiCaprio. Although Leo sank our hearts in the Titanic, his beard is sinking me too. See, my biggest qualms with Leo, not only does he have a really low cheek line, but he really emphasizes his big long neckline and for me, it just makes him look really fat uh, and, and no conformity in his beard. He also grows his chin out to a really big, um, kind of a, you know, poofant uh, look, if you will. And I'd rather him more go for a straight because he has such a round face. So Leo, if you can, be the king of the world and try to get that beard on point. All right, next up, and I'm gonna get some serious hate on this one, that's LeBron James. Uh. Although he has a thick beard, the shape of it and the way he keeps it just drives me bonkers. He has a really sharp angle on his cheeks, let alone the neckline goes really far up uh, to his chin, which for me makes this pancake size uh, looking of a beard. So with LeBron's, I think he's just missing holes in his game where he can actually flourish even with his mustache, let it grow, let it get nice and thick and then shape it up. Instead of having this really too tight of a beard, I think it's just really uh, not in my game, in my opinion. Next one on the list is going to be Matthew McConaughey. Mm -hmm. So if you guys haven't noticed, but Matthew really doesn't keep a big full beard. And I think for a couple reasons, although he has a nice shape of a beard, I think when it comes down past his chin, it really becomes a scraggly mess. Like I say in some of the other ones, there's no conformity. He just lets it grow. He doesn't really keep it shaped up. He doesn't really keep it trimmed up. And it just becomes this really more of a hobo-y look. And it seems that a lot of roles that Matthew does, he really keeps it nice and clean shaven. If he does grow out a beard, it's probably a two or three week stubble. And that way he's just got a nice rough and tumble look. But the full beard, mm, I don't think so. Number six on the list is gonna be, and I think has the same problem as Matthew, is gonna be Joaquin Phoenix. To tell you the truth, I think Joaquin Phoenix, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Matthew McConaughey kind of all have that same uh, problem of just not keeping everything conformative and just letting the hairs go wild down below their chin and uh, not really keeping everything on point. And once again, that's why when you see Joaquin Phoenix having a beard and that mustache, it's usually when he's in a uh, kind of, you know, in a dumps or he's, uh, you know, kind of had a, a problem with his life in the movies. Uh, and so that's why he probably has that look and keeps that look. Uh, you know, throughout that time of shooting. And so that's probably what we see is that hobo -y, uh, you know, look. So uh, Joaquin Phoenix, keep the game going. Next up is gonna be Ryan Gosselin. This one is kind of a tricky one on its own. Now Ryan has more of that baby face look. And so when he is growing out that beard, having a blonde top and having a blonde beard really thins up that thick looking beard. It's a, it's really tough game because when you have a thin blonde hair game, the beard really doesn't come in thick. And with that, the beard suffers. And it seems just like with the other celebrities with Ryan as he's growing out his beard, just that uh, shabby, uh, not kept up look. And it seems like that is kind of the consistency of what's happening here with a lot of these guys is that keeping our beard on point is really an easy task, but at the same time, uh, if you're not knowledgeable about it, this is what happened. So for Ryan putting that notebook, no more beards, okay? Next one on the list, and I'm not too familiar with a bunch of his work, but we do have Jared Leto. Now Jared actually has a good looking beard. I'm just bringing him up because of the style that he has. I really do not like this cheek thing that he's got going on. I just wish he'd kind of line it up just a little bit. Same thing uh, with the neck here. And I think he really can pull it together because he has such a dark, thick complexion of the beard. 
I think he could really pull it out. Kind of like, I'm not going to bring him up in the list, but like Shia LaBeouf. He's got a really thick looking beard. He's Everything's there, but if we can just keep it on point and in style, it can look really cool. But with Jared just kind of keeping it front and the dump, uh, it's not going to look its best. Uh, but like I said, I'm not too familiar with his work, um, but not the worst beard in the world, but at the same time, probably could do a little better uh, with the beard game. All right, second to last on the list of the worst celebrity beards is Andrew Garfield. Choo, choo, choo. Spider-Man. Now, I was surprised to find out that this guy is not only 35, but the beard on this guy, it's kind of wild. It's kind of weird and crazy. Now, Jared's got a crazy beard situation going on here. He's got a really thick beard, but for some reason, I don't know if it's just too wispy, if he doesn't put any control to it, but it seems like there's just some patch game going on. Uh, there's really no place for the beard to lay. It's just kind of everywhere. But uh, like I said earlier, if you could just apply maybe a little bit of product and uh, some style into it, uh, he probably can actually uh, get through just that uh, little weird stage that he's going through right now. Uh, Andrew, keep pushing through it, man. All right, we made it. Number 10, all right? The top uh, worst beard in the celebrity game. And that award goes to Brad Pitt. Ooh. And it's tough to say this about him because of the roles and his masculinity of those roles that he does. It's so surprising that he can't grow a thick, full uh, beard compared to a lot of these other guys. Uh, it seems that Brad Pitt's beard game is at a huge all-time low. So Brad, if you can, get in a fight with your beard. Hopefully the beard wins uh, and can make your look uh, beyond the next level, all right? Keep working at it, Brad, because I know you're gonna watch this video, all right? I, I, know, I know it. So let me know what you guys think. Put down a comment in the comment section. Let me know who you think has the worst looking celebrity beard, all right? So like always, like, subscribe, check me out on all that social media. Love you guys like always, and I'll see you on the flip side. See ya! Thank you.